everyone, this is Nate, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're on location at Boss Battle Games in Indianapolis. We're going to be reviewing Indianapolis 500 today. How fitting being in Indianapolis reviewing Indianapolis 500. Well, you get my drift. But anyway, uh, please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube videos. Well, well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button. Join our family. If you like Arcade, if you like Virtual Pinball, if you like Mechanical Pinball, that's what we do here at Arcade and Pinball Talk. Thank you again for watching. Let's get this review away, shall we? First things first, you saw that ramp go up and exit. Other than this table layout, you got three flippers on it. They're on the move behind the pace car now. Doing their last move adjustments. Checking the gauges. They know they have two flippers left ahead of them. Very fast table too, so fast ball speed on this. Moderate to light high difficulty on it just due to the speed. First impressions of the table looks very good. I mean, obviously it's a indie car layout. It's really artistically set up that way. Uh, you have your left in lane, right in lane, out lane, left, right. That flipper gap is not too bad. It is when it's open. Targets on the left going up. That, that lane to the left goes all the way around and kind of whips up into the middle and exits out of a ramp to your third flipper. You also have a uh, turbine back there that kind of kicks around and that's what kind of sends the ball to its different areas. So there's that lane, there's your orbit. The ramp will go up to a habit trail and drop it right in front of that third flipper to the top, the middle right. That third flipper will kick it to a lock, which is underneath the turbo area. Yeah, some pop bumpers to the back, some columns back there. You have a kick out, which is green flag to the middle of the table. There's that ramp, drops it to the third flipper, to the lock. There's the other ramp, goes all the way around, exits to your left end lane. Yep. There's your kick out to the middle, and that's going to kick it up. Super lighter. So that kicks it to the columns to the right. You got some pop bumpers to the right there, exiting to your third flipper. Pretty simple layout of the table. Need some more ball speed to get it where I need it to go. Chats that a little bit. Going around the orbit again. Soundtrack is what you would expect. It's kind of a, not a banger and clanger, but very, very limited on soundtrack. Not a whole lot of call outs, but the call outs are good for what they are based off of what it is. Uh, artwork uh, seems like it's there based on its age. Uh, theme is there. Uh, moderate to light uh, gameplay due to the speed of the ball. But other than that, great, great pinball game. So check it out. If you have a chance to check this out on location, uh, definitely do it. Uh, again, review will be under our description. Please look down there for our metrics, as well as please subscribe. Thank you again for watching today. Until next time.